Hello everyone, it's Jade from Boho Bookworm, welcome back to my channel. Something that I have been getting into a lot recently is tarot. I am not claiming to be clued up on this, but I am starting to read up about it and investigate it, so much so that I went out and bought my own pack when we were in New York City from the Strand Bookshop and I got the Phantom Wise Tarot deck, which is a 78 card deck from the author of The Night Circus, Erin Morgenstern. It is beautiful. The artwork is just sensational. I've been asking it questions slowly, pulling, you know, shuffling the cards, pulling a card and seeing how it goes. And so far, they seem to be really accurate and just sums everything up perfectly for the questions that I'm asking. So I thought that I'd record a couple and share them with you all. And they're going to be very like general questions for everyone. So specifically today, I thought that I would ask about the year 2023, which is just around the corner, how's it going to go? What What's in store for 2023? How are we going to feel about this year? So opening up the box, the first thing I've got is this little booklet, which explains all the different cards and stuff. But what I'm going to do with my reading today is shuffle the cards, pull a card, look at the artwork, and just firstly talk about what I see in the picture what I interpret that card to be. Then I'm going to go away, research the card a little bit and see if what I interpreted it as is accurate and um, just what, what's in store for 2023. So let's shuffle the deck. As you shuffle them, you've got to think and focus on the question in your mind. So think about the year 2023. I'm gonna zone out a little bit here. So I'm going to pull the first card that I see, which is, oh, the lovers. That's a nice card for 2023. I mean, so the picture itself is a couple on a swing looking out into the distance in the moonlight. I think there's a, um, a bird in the sky, stars. She's got um, beautiful striped tights on. He's wearing a little hat and they're just looking very much in love. They're holding hands. So I have a feeling that 2023, is going to be a lovely year. <laughs> when I look at this card, I see people that are very happy with where they are in life. They're, they're blissed out and they are just looking forward to the future together. They're watching life come in any way, shape or form that it will and they're at peace with that. I guess I, I, I interpret it as not doing life alone, of having a partnership whether that be finding that partnership this year or already having your partner and knowing that you're, you know, you're with that right person. That's, that's how I interpret this card. I feel like 2023 is going to be a phenomenal year and don't we all deserve that? So now I'm just going to have a look in the tarot booklet and see what it says about the lovers. A couple sits together on a swing, high in the air, hands clasped together. No words are required in this moment. Here is a deep connection made up in the clouds looking over the world from a shared viewpoint. This is a soft space filled with new love, a harmonious balance, a time to luxuriate in, possibly a time for making choices to determine needs and desires and whether or not a relationship suits those needs and desires. Okay, so it could be interpreted as you are questioning your relationship and you need to make a choice as to whether this is the right person for you. I mean, I'm very happy in my relationship. I know exactly where I am in life is where I need to be and my entire future is panning out in a beautiful and miraculous way right now. So um, for me this card specifically is fantastic. Um, I hope that for you whatever questions that this card may bring up in your life that um, that you're able to to figure those answers out. I also have the book Wild Card by Jen Cowney and um, Fiona Lensfeld, and um, I can also interpret the card from their book, which I find really helpful. So in this book, it says that this card symbolises commitment, harmony, quality, bonding, intensity, obsession, and imbalance. So there's a dark side to this card, as they said, with you know you need to check that you're you know you're in the right relationship. So it could be that you know one of you is totally wrong for the other and that there's some toxic stuff going on. But when I look at the card, personally, I just see the positive, but as with everything in life, there is always a positive and a negative. 
so this book says right off the bat that you should be very careful of taking this card at face value, which is exactly what I just did. It says that it's a card that reminds you that after infatuation has burnt away, you have a choice to stay or to go. It's a card that holds up any ideal, not just a romantic ideal, and asks how you feel and how you're feeling about it right now. Generally, the answer is it's complicated. Again, with everything in life, this couple isn't going to be happy 24 seven, are they? Couples have arguments, they have disagreements, they have spats, they have things that they don't like about each other. I hate the fact that my partner snores. Um, I hate that he's so stubborn when I'm being stubborn as well and I need him to just agree with me, which, you know, he probably hates that I'm as stubborn as I am. That's just, it's life. You have to figure out if that person is, you know, someone that you can actually envision spending the rest of your life with, despite their their flaws. Everyone's got flaws, you know. I'm, I'm ridiculous sometimes. I, I can be, I, I'm not that lazy, I don't think. I, but I can be if I want to be. If I just don't feel like doing anything that day, nothing is going to force me to. Um, I, I am stubborn. I, I do have a bit of a temper. I, I can get really upset and emotional. I have a problem with dealing with, uh, you know, anxieties and stuff sometimes. They're things that he's got to accept about me and there's things that I need to accept about him. And I'm not going to go into his specific flaws because they're not for me to share. But the fact is that I have, you know, I discovered long ago that the things that um, aren't perfect about him I can overlook and I can love anyway, vice versa, hopefully with him. So I think that's the point in this card is deciding in life specifically, whether that be with a partner, a friend, a career, whatever your your life is you know, revolving around right now, you need to figure out if, if you're on the right path for yourself, weigh up those pros and cons. As this book says, I guess that this card symbolises a reality check. This is a new year, make sure you're going into it with the best of intentions and not kidding yourself, not lying to yourself about certain situations in your life. You know, if, if you're unhappy in your career, change it or, you know, start looking elsewhere, make those first steps. If you're not happy in a relationship, you know, you've got to, to talk it through. You need to see if it's something that can be fixable, if it's salvageable wake up and figure out where your life is really supposed to be going and make that happen. Something amazing in this book says that the lovers can ask you, what if you could achieve harmony by loving and respecting yourself? It could also remind you that your your companion in life, if you have one, you know, they, they're an individual in their own right. They've got their own path to go on. So even though I interpreted this card as a couple hand in hand, looking out at their future together, you've got to still be able to separate yourself from that person and know that you're both individuals on your own journeys. I, I feel like with specifically me and my partner, what we're busy going through and experiencing in life right now is an incredible thing to be doing together. But at the same time, I need to remind myself that he's got you know dreams and ambitions and things that he wants to achieve himself. And I need to support that and even though we're, you know, we're working towards things that we both want together, I mean, we're planning our wedding this year and there's a lot of other amazing things going on right now. I need to keep it in my mind that him, personally, he needs to still feel like an individual that has, you know, dreams and goals that he wants to achieve that don't necessarily include me, you know, and for me specifically, that would be, you know, I, I want to be a writer, I want to write books and read books and that's a part of me that is very specific for me and my partner needs to allow me that time to have that side of me, to be able to have time to record silly little videos and publish them on YouTube and stuff like, and I need to give him that time as well to be himself. That's a great message from this card and it could lead to a great year ahead once you have come to peace with that and come to terms with that questions that you should ask yourself when you see this card is how do you envisage I can't say the word how do you envisage love do you believe in perfect soulmates how does that play out in your romantic life i personally i do believe in soulmates i didn't for a while but no one could be more perfect for me than my partner right now so i just know that i've found my happy ever after um, and i think it's a, a great thing that i am 
reminding myself that I need to give him space to be himself and not just a unit with me. More questions is, how do you feel about yourself? I, I feel pretty good about myself right now, you know, I'm, I'm working hard, I am doing the best that I can in life, um, I'm, I'm writing again, I'm reading when I can, and I'm planning for a future and living each day to better my future. So yeah, I'm, I'm just in a really good headspace. Do you believe that you're enough? Yes, I do. For the first time in my life, I, I do feel like I'm enough. Do you love yourself? I do. And I hope that you can go into 2023 loving yourself or learning to love yourself too, which is another thing I believe that this card symbolizes. So the lovers for 2023, that's the takeaway that I got from it. Let me know what you thought of it. And if you'd like me to continue playing with tarot cards and um, sharing some messages with you, um, I, yeah, I really like tarot and I feel like it's a fun thing to explore and get into. So I definitely plan on um, doing more of it, whether that just be in my little cottage by myself or sharing it with you. Have a lovely day further and I will talk to you soon.